Hey, what is up everybody and welcome back to another video. We are now finishing off season 11 of Red vs. Blue. This may be the fastest I've ever got through a season. I've never, I've never really went back and checked. They're usually about like, you know, three, four, five episodes, whatever. But I don't think I've ever like just done a back-to-back -back Red vs. Blue before, which is pretty cool. But um... Yeah, I'm having a nightmare of a time uh, rendering this freaking Call of Cthulhu one. The, from what I understand, there's like one more bit of, of corrupt data because it keeps rendering up the like, I think it's like 80 something percent and then keeps stopping. So I'll find it. I'll sort it out. I do apologize for those that are waiting for it. It'll come out when it comes out, unfortunately. <clears throat> I am so sorry. <laughs> um... But yeah, we're finishing off uh, Season 11, which is awesome. We were introduced to the two guys. I have no, I don't know what they're called. No, no, no I did. Oh, no, what? The Locus. Locus, I think, was one of their names. No idea what the other dude's called, though. Can't remember his name if it was ever mentioned, but I don't think it was. But yeah, um, I, I don't know what their deal is. Uh, from a, a comment, one of you guys left. Someone said, you know... Well, like, we'll introduce the soldier in, like, the maniac. And then I commented being like, oh, yeah, well, which is which? You know, joking on. And somebody else commented being like, yeah, that's that's the big question. So I, I, I don't know who to trust. It, the, the guy who seems like he's evil, is he going to turn out to be not so evil? I thought Wash was evil at one point. Turns out he was just being used like a fleshlight. So, you know what? We, we we have no idea what's going on. So without further ado, let's just start. Let's just get into it. I can't wait. Finally finishing. <laughs> finally, I didn't even start that long ago. Finishing season eleven. We are really really fastly coming up to to catching up and finishing Red versus Blue, which is crazy because I feel like I've been watching this show for a millennia, and not in a bad way, but it just feels like I've been watching it for so long. It's always been like either the primary or secondary thing I've been reacting to on my channel, so yeah, d definitely a weird feeling that we're coming up to the end of it now, but hey, without further ado, let's get started. I'm super excited, and I hope you guys are as well. The endings are always the best part of the, the seasons, because there's always so much shit that goes down. Reveals, twists, turns, plot lines. Let's just carry on before I, I get carried away. Let's go. <laughs> let's go, let's go. I can't feel my toes. That's yeah, that's normal. Hey, if you have frostbite. To start talking. Mm, aggressive, paranoid, and a little melodramatic. You must be Agent Washington. Hey. <laughs> melodramatic. And that means the rest of you are the reds and the blues. What gave it away? Oh God, how did he know that? <laughs> Wearing red and blue armor. But how can he go? Will somebody please? <laughs> I've got his helmet got turned off. Seriously? Come on, man. Everybody knows about you guys. You're heroes. Heroes. You're the team that brought down Project Freelancer. You're some of the galaxy's greatest soldiers. Well. Well, I can see how you might think that. Because it's absolutely true. It's partially true. Oh my god. I don't know if you can hear the banging. I do apologize again. They have been silent until I started this video and now all of a sudden you decide to be loud. But yeah, um, I'm surprised Griff didn't immediately jump on that though and just be like, please, just, I'm a hero, all right? I deserve a mansion, uh, all the money I can have, uh, all, all the food I could ever eat. I want to, I want five private chefs, each for, actually I want seven, one for each day and I want them to all make different stuff and I want sous chefs and dessert chefs or pastry chefs, whatever they get called, to be with them as well. Be my beck and call at every moment of every waking day. Missed opportunity. Felix. Okay, Felix. What's Felix? What <gasps> Felix you Shellberg. You want another bullet in your leg? Hey, that bullet's there because of you. He's got a point. <laughs> <laughs> Explain uh. what's going on. Uh, yeah. Like, who are those guys that were trying to kill us? And why haven't we been rescued yet? Wait. Where do you think you are? What do you mean? Where? Do you understand where you've crashed? No! Well, we've been taking bets. Highest wagers currently on Bermuda Triangle. After that, we got Gilligan's Island and Purgatory. So stupid. <laughs> no, just think about it. It makes perfect sense. Yeah, you've seen Lost. No one's come to help you. Spoiler alert. It's the same reason no one's come to help them. Spoiler alert, sorry. Them? The people on this planet. What planet? 
planet. Chorus. Never heard of it. Well, I wouldn't expect you to. That explains why it's called the Chorus Trilogy. I, I was wondering when that was going to get brought up because I had no idea what Chorus was or if I was supposed to know what it was. But yeah, there we go. It's on the very edge of colonized space and after the war between the humans and the aliens, it was more or less forgotten by Earth and the UNSC. We crashed in the middle of nowhere on a planet in the middle of nowhere. Fucking beautiful, everybody. But how did we end up so far from home? It should have been a short flight. Sir, please, you can't be back here. These engines are delicate. Can it, Point Dexter? No one of this flight's taken so Everybody long. fucked with engines. the ship. These engines are supposed to be big, loud, and terrible for the environment. Let's kick this baby into slip space. Uh, one mystery at a time there, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, evidently. Worst. Can you just get to the point? The point is, you've crash landed in the middle of a civil war, and I'm on the side that's trying to keep you alive. And which side is that? The New Republic. Essentially, a bunch of people got fed up with the way things were going on Chorus, so they put together a rebel army and decided to fight for their freedom. It's all very patriotic. So what? Does that make those guys the evil empire or something? Yeah, you could say that. Oh. Oh fuck. Why <laughs> that boy tried to kidnap. Right on the money there, fella. You're the greatest soldiers in the galaxy. That makes you a pretty hot commodity. And I'd be lying if I said my shitty attempt at a rescue mission didn't have a few strings attached. What kind of strings are we talking here? The rebels need your help. Once they heard that you were on chorus, they sent me out with a small team to find you and bring you back. They're hoping you might be the key to winning this war. No. Yeah, no, n no. Is he actually a freelancer, though? Oh my god, could you Im could you imagine <laughs> if it was uh, it was a Georgia? They got shot out in space, and because um, Wash wouldn't know about him. Oh my god, that that would be such a funny turn because Wash kept going. What happened to Georgia? Like, what happened to him? So he obviously doesn't know. So if it turns out that that is Georgia, oh my god, that'd be great. That'd be so funny. He doesn't have a ship, huh? Not going that extra mile. You know, I wasn't alone when I came out here to find you. There were three of us. Just think about that. Whatever. It's not like we asked them to save us. Yeah, we definitely didn't build a giant radio tower to send a distress signal or anything. Shut up. Yeah. Headquarters. This is Felix. I've made contact with the Reds and Blues. Holy shit! You found them? That's great. Uh, what's your status? Can't believe you're still alive. Good. Mm. Right. Sending reinforcements, sir. Roger. You always need a contingency plan. And a shitload of guns is a pretty decent one, to be fair. Now we work on making this canyon the most defendable hole in the ground the universe has ever seen. Why? Because we're about to get hit hard. I need a detailed list of the supplies you've got on hand. Let's set up choke points and mark potential snipers now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. We're not telling you anything. We still don't even know if we can believe you. Well, believe this. If we don't prepare for a fight, might as well just be waiting for a massacre. Seems pretty decent. Tucker, see if you can fix Caboose's helmet. Yes, who said that? Sarge, you and the Reds build up an arsenal. If we can use it as a weapon, let's get it prepped. I can think of a few things that might come in handy. Felix. I never realized how the exact same Simmons and Sarge's armors were until like this point right now. Are they always been identical? And I've just never noticed? Well, alright then. Let's see if you guys are as good as they say. 
<laughs> oh god. <laughs> uh, at least he's honest. I mean, they're, they're competent at times. Accidentally. Yeah, it really doesn't make sense. Go organize those firearms. Yes, sir. Griff, Doc, how are those teleportation tests going? Well, we've learned the cubes can be set to different frequencies. For example, if I throw a cube set to frequency A, it will absorb an object. If I then throw a second cube on frequency A, that object will react. Yeah, makes sense, makes sense, you know. Meanwhile, if I've got a cube... Law of equivalent exchange and what have you. <laughs> and then throw a second cube set to B without ever messing with the stuff sucked up by the cube set to A. Well, all they do is teleport things. No explosions, no violence. Nah. Well, we maybe can make them absorb grenades, and then we can throw the grenade-filled cubes at the enemy. At that point, wouldn't it just make sense to throw grenades? We're not. Yeah, but sense, private. if it sucks everything up, you got to think you could you could get like I don't know twenty grenades in there. I, I, I mean, actually, to be fair with you, I don't know if it would, like, stop them in time. And I, I wouldn't really want to pull the pins on a bunch of them to then try and absorb them, to then let them go in the hopes that they explode. And, of course, you can't just absorb a normal one with a pin inside of it. That's, that would just be redundant. You might as well just chuck a rock at somebody's head. Never mind. Never mind what I said. Continue. Understandable. Certifiable. Open your eyes. Oh my god, the graphics are incredible! You're welcome. Ah, oh, oh, thanks, Tucker. Uh, you know, you you and I have had our differences in the past. I have called you stupid. You have called me stupid. I have tried to kill you. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. You know, at the end of the day, I like to think that you and I are actually... What? I can't oh. hear you. I can hear you, Caboos, only slightly. The man coming for us is named Locus. He's a merc like me, only, you know, terrifying. Locus? Yeah. Guy's so far off the deep end, he prefers to go by the name of his armor instead of the name he was born with. <whistles> That's unsettling. Oh, are you first name Agent, last name Washington? That's so weird. That's. Oh. Nah, Locus won't be Georgia. That'd be insane. Come on now. I'm sorry. I'm so hung up on 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 somebody being being Georgia. I just want it to happen. It'd be so funny. I just want to know what happened. Old habits. Yeah, well, here's to hoping those old habits of yours kick in when he shows up. You know, I thought there'd be more of you. Weren't you with a, another freelancer and an AI? They disappeared not long after we crashed. Sheesh. Any idea where they went? It's actually a good question, because they... How, well, if how could they even get off the planet? Haven't heard anything about them over the radio, so, um... That's probably good. How was he able to cloak himself? Hmm? Locus. He turned invisible. How? The Federal Army's got all sorts of fancy stuff. I got my light shield off a dead soldier. Wow. Pretty cool. It's 
just that I've never seen that kind of equipment outside of Project Freelancer. Welcome to the future, Wash. Technology's incredible, and everyone uses it to kill each other. Does that mean your guys have the same equipment? I wish. The New Republic's barely getting by with what they can. You wouldn't happen to have any high-tech armor aboard that wreck, would you? Plenty of armor, just nothing out of the ordinary. Well, at least you can accessorize. Yeah, I suppose so. He's not wrong. Our little color combo mixing up. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just trying to lighten the mood. Actually, I think I might indulge in some of those old habits you were talking about. <laughs> Follow me. Man, you're just cryptic. He truly all is. All the time. Do you realize that? The worst kind of people. Just be straightforward. <laughs> He's been alive all of an hour, a day. Oh god, god, the Lopez's are going against each other. Well, it just goes to show that with time, effort, and a little bit of elbow grease, we really can achieve wonders. We spent hours turning this place into a war zone, and you made me hate it in one sentence. It's what he does. Donut's got a point, though. Yay. I think we're ready. Looking good. Back in black. Looks good, Wash. Nah, that is something that brings back the memories. It's like when we first met. And then we've met again, and you shot Donut. I'm impressed, guys. This place looks good. And between the landmines, freckles, and the tank, I don't think anyone's going to stand a chance against us. Run for your lives! Sarge? Oh, shit, they're here. Everyone, oh, this must be CC. No, or Lopez. Or Lopez, too. Yeah. Thank God he's got the aim of a fucking stormtrooper, am I right? It is pretty cool, to be fair with you. Oh, he's here as well. Only to kill the mercenary. Well, fuck. Oh yeah, you and what army? The Federal Army of Cars. Why you don't ever ask that? That's the well, worst it's question. The that one. Looks like backup isn't getting here in time. Uh, Wash, what's the plan? Engaging target. Oh hell yeah. See, now this is more like it. This is what you need. <laughs> I missed the animation, though. I'll give it that. So fucking stupid. Oh, fuck is that? What the fuck was that? What? Where did that come from? They must be getting in through the caves. Nice. Nice. Ah, yes, of course. Oh no, Freckles isn't gonna die, no! Donut. Shields failing. 
Ellos han inclinado ante nosotros como sus señores robot. Pero ahora debe ser destruido. All right, that's enough. Es sí. ¿Qué? Don't make me hurt you. Oh. What? Me delera. Me gustaría verte. Intentaro. Tell me you. No soy Rosa. He fuck. He speaks Spanish. He knew. Pero no muy bien. Hijo de puta. Nice. Look at him. Aroha Saladora Robot Santanas. Teriyaki Lapis Terco. I love that. It wasn't a volcano, but I'm still taking credit for the idea. Okay? Gotta love that teriyaki circus, am I right? Oh yeah, jump over the grenade. As you can see, that's that that's Tucker's main thing. I was gonna say, if they had more people, they are unironically doing a really good job at defending the place right now. It's not the gravity. Red? What is it? Oh, it's gonna be something stupid, isn't it? Fucking Facebook. Oh, he's uploading, he's downloading the picture. Facebook is draining our entire power supply. It is a very high quality picture. Uh, even make sense. We've got to cancel the download. But, but it's 57% through. How are we supposed to ah! Donut. Oh my god. Is he dead? No, but he's unconscious. Oh, thank god. I thought you had died again. Jesus Christ. I don't want to go through that shit again. Felix, we're a man down. Where is that backup? I don't know. They should be here in a few minutes. We don't have a few minutes. If we can't get Freckles online, we won't stand a chance. Ugh, such bullshit. Hey, where are you going? Tucker! Yeah, Tucker, what are you doing? Being an absolute badass, of course. <laughs> Who needs animation, am I right? <laughs> We're getting power. Charging. Freeze. Oh, oh shit. You and your friends have caused us a lot of trouble. Now lay down. Wait, Felix was just that. What the hell? Dose point oh. No. Hey, he went into his body. Nice. Awesome. Where did you get that body? <laughs> I don't know what you said, but that's great. Now let's get out of here. <laughs> Lopez the heavy. <laughs> oh my god. Don't tell me someone's gonna die. Oh my god, Washington! Oh my god, everyone's going down. Never fucking turn your back in the heat of battle. Come on now. Oh my god, everyone's going down. I don't like this. At least I know they're probably not going to die because you can't kill everybody. Freckles, no! 
<laughs> ah! He was like a fucking father to me. Oh, the rebels come now. You're a bit fucking late, where were you when Freckles was getting shot? <gasps> He's alive! Oh my god! The season finale is like a roller coaster of emotions right now. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, what a. Oh, okay. Are they just leaving Zarge? What are you doing? Where's Wash? He's still at the base? What? And Wash? Sir, if we leave now, they'll just follow us back to headquarters. Ah, oh, shit. Someone get me some explosive. Wait, guys. There he is. Wash! Wash, come on! We've got to seal this tunnel. I don't like this. I don't like the way this is going. No. This looks very much like a sacrificial. Uh, no. Shake. Nice. That was pretty fun. Oh, he's 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 closing it. Oh no, I thought so. God damn it. Fucking saved their asses. I mean, at least he's pretty sure that was just a knock over the head, so he should still be alive. Waking up. A woman? What? You took a rock to the back of the head. Good news is, we made it back to base undetected. Back to base? Welcome to the New Republic. Well, goddamn. Felix, what the fuck is going on? Where is everyone? Griff, Simmons, and Caboose are up at the main compound. Well, what about everyone else? What about Sarge? What about Wash? Yeah, about that. Um, I I'm gonna go. Yeah. Thanks, Doc. Dude, do not fuck with me right now. We had to leave them, Tucker. What? Look, the feds were closing in. If we'd stayed any longer, they would have taken you too. No, that's bullshit. That's war, Tucker. Not everyone makes it back. You guys put up a good fight. I can see why Kimball wants you. Who the fuck is Kimball? Who the fuck is Kimball? Who the fuck are you? Leader of the New Republic, and very glad to meet you. I wish you were under better circumstances. Uh, yeah. Your friends are waiting for you up near the mess hall. It's just north of here. Why don't you go catch up? We'll talk later. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting slapped with so much information right now. There's new people. There's... You're not getting paid the full amount. I know. You're lucky you're getting paid at all. I know. Chill the fuck out, girl. Are they as good as we hoped? I think so. Either that or they're just really lucky. <laughs> yeah. well, they probably don't feel very lucky. It's a small rebel army, Griff. It's poor customer service. You're eating everything. I'm an emotional leader. What can I say? Tucker? Hey, what's up? Man, what the fuck is going on? After you were knocked out, we were taken to this huge cave somewhere beneath the jungle. These guys live in a cave? They're rebels. Of course they live in a cave. It's hidden. Nah, I'm a Tucker. I was expecting some badass snow base or something. What? Why? That's what they had in Star Wars. How is that even relevant? Tell me this is not just like Star Wars. Tell me. Tucker does have a glowing sword. Rebels. Sword. Evil man, man with terrible aim. You're really all that made it? In white armor. Nah, Sarge and Wash are definitely gonna still be alive. Something's come up. Follow me. Dude, I'm telling you, it's them. Whoa. Maybe we're not fucked. Michael Caboose. Dexter Griff. Richard Simmons and Lavernian. <laughs> Richard Simmons. The four of you have traveled great distances, retrieved ancient artifacts, brought corrupt men to justice, and bested the most dangerous war criminal this galaxy has ever known. All in a day's work. And now it seems fate has brought you to our doorstep. No pressure. <laughs> I'm aware that you've been informed of our situation, and I understand your reluctance to help fight a war that is not your own. 
but we've just received word that the Federal Army has your friends alive and in captivity. They're okay? What's, What's gonna happen to them? We're not sure. But... It can't be good, whatever it is. Can be rescued. And it means this war may become yours after all. Oh, shit. So, I'm going to make you a promise. If you help us take back our planet, we'll help you take back your friends. And when it's all over, you can take our best ship and fly as far away from this place as you want. I know it's not the best offer, but what do you The think? best they've had so far. Look, lady, I don't know what you think we can do, but I seriously doubt we can actually do it. This war has gone on for too long. Too many people have died, and our remaining soldiers are young, inexperienced, and scared. But you give them hope. They've heard what you've done, and they will look to you for guidance. They will run with you into battle, and they will follow your orders if you choose to lead them. You're pretty badass. I can't do this alone. Sarge is gone. Wash is gone. How the hell are we supposed to do this without them? Yeah, none of us have ever led anyone before. Well, well Caboose has. <laughs> I know, but you just need to try. Well, they're now the leaders of an army. Who'd have thunk it, huh? All right, let's run some drills. Oh, mm -hmm. man. Break. Epic. Lucky thing I checked, huh? <laughs> we searched crash site Bravo, sir. And the crate was recovered, intact and completely sealed. Wonderful news. However, it looks as if they tried to blast it open. Do you think they knew? Highly unlikely. Report back to control as soon as possible, Lucas. Are you sure keeping them alive is the best course of action? Do you feel threatened by the simulation troopers, Lucas? Of course not. Then we will continue with our endeavors as previously discussed. Do I make myself clear? Who the fuck is that? Yes, sir. Oh my god! What the fuck? So what the hell is that all about? Huh? Carolina is... Just... Is she using Locus? Is, 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 is... She, no, she can't, like, turn bad. Her whole thing was the fact that she wanted to dethrone the her dad basically and she did that by you know him offing himself because he he was a he was a defeated man that just wanted his 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 waifu back which is you know understandable really oh my god that what i didn't expect that one um i don't really know what to say about that but we'll, we'll continue anyways so what happened well uh, uh felix seems like a pretty cool dude uh, he's he's I don't know. I can't tell. Like, he I mean, he seems nice, but, you know, for all I know, that could just be a red heron. He's be like, yeah, he's a, such a nice guy. Turns out he's a massive dick. The rebel army are massive dicks. But Carolina's, you know, helping the other guys. And she, she was sort of, I mean, not necessarily a, a good person, but, you know, she was a defeated person. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I'm just, my, my, head, my head's frazzled. But yeah, uh, Wash and Sarge are now locked up uh, in, in desperate need of rescuing. And uh, Carolina is secretly helping them. What? I, I just keep coming back to that. I mean, like, I, I was wondering, I was confused because like, well, she's definitely going to be alive and she's definitely not left the planet because, you know, nobody can freaking leave the planet from the looks of things. Nobody has a ship apart from the rebels that said they'll give them the best ship, you know, if they actually manage to Stop the Civil War. Oh, God. I'm blown away. I don't know what to say. All right. Well, in, in a very interesting ending, which is le leaving me wanting so much more, which I guess is what you want from an ending. <sighs> yes. All right. Cool. Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It does help massively. I do massively appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next video.
Goodbye.